All right, welcome back, everybody. Big day today. Bit nervous. Turning out the potatoes for garden show. We've got 20 buckets, five of four different varieties. So we've got Desiree, Maris Piper, Marifoma, and Kestrel. Because for the garden show, for the particular class I'm entering, we got to have four varieties and six potatoes of each of the variety. So hopefully out of the five buckets, I can get six potatoes that match up, are clean, and they'll be good enough to show. I'm all set up over here. I got my table, I got my mortar board, bucket, got a uh, container, and a wheelbarrow. Um, these have all been, when I planted them, I topped them with wood chip and grass clippings as well. And I sat them on a bed of horse manure and then put wood chip around them. So uh, I cut the tops off about 10 days ago. I might show a little clip about that. And the wood structure is where I had netting on top of them, steel netting to help protect from the wind that worked brilliantly. Right, let's turn some out, see what we got. Excited, isn't it? Right, well, this has got to be one of the, <laughs> the great unknowns of gardening, isn't it? You haven't got a clue what's in there. Most other things you can see them grow, you can see them develop, but uh, let's get on with it. Start with the desiree. What I'm going to do is get the wood chip off. Oh, I can see them already. See them already. My worry was that my compost soil mix would be too dense. Christ, come out. Well, here we go. What have we got going on in here then? You know, we've got to be careful. Oh, hello. Ants. Lots of ants. Right, they're not a brilliant shape. Not a brilliant shape. These... But my word, there's some potatoes in here. Yeah. I might have my work cut out. Oh. Finding six that'll match up. Uh. smaller ones not the prettiest and as I suspected this is a was a bit too bit too dense I think. Could have done with some sand. Right. Well that's a good haul of potatoes out of a bucket. 
I reckon. Right. Well, that's it. Just got to keep going now. Empty out some more. See what else we got. But very few little ones. All really good size. Right, that's Daziri. Let's crack on. Right, so that's me whole haul of Daziri out of five 30 litre buckets. I can get six out of this. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, let's move on to the, I think it's Maris Piper next. All right, let's try the Maris Piper, see what we've got in here. There we go. Taking the wood chip off. I'll chuck that on my, what I'm calling my horizontal compost heap, where I've been trying to improve a bit of ground. So I've turned it over and I just chuck any organic matter I've got on top of it and work it in. Right, let's turn these out. I can say five buckets of the, ooh, yes. These are looking nice. Huh. I'm so paranoid, I even made sure my fingernails were cut really short this morning so I don't damage the skins. These are a nicer shape. But then, I, I don't know what they should look like for the different varieties, really. But I know a good looking potato when I see it. Oh, I've got a few small ones, gang gang. I can try your recipe for small potatoes and a cold beer. I'll be enjoying that tonight. Let's see one. Note to self, Pete, next time, don't have your compost quite so dense, I think. But I've got, I've just ordered, well, they're here now. I ordered up some seed potatoes that you can plant like the end of July, August from Marshalls. They sent me an email, come on their mailing list, of um, potatoes for Christmas. I mean, what? They've been held back in cold storage, bought out now and you can plant them up and they'll be ready for Christmas. So once I've got over the trauma of garden show, I'll be planting them up. Right, what I do like, no stupid little ones. So, Brucey bonus. Right, that's Maris Piper. I'll crack on with them and show you the haul. Right, well here's the Maris Piper. Not so many, and I got a big one here, Dunk. I don't know if it's quite as big as yours, I don't think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, not so many, but I reckon I can get six potatoes out of that. Beauty, let's go on to the Marifirma. All right, so here's the Marifirma. I've got to admit, this fold-up table and a mortar board. I know Nick, the gardener, he's got a mortar board. I think he'll agree. One of the most useful things, especially for doing stuff like this. And my famous fold-up table, worth its weight in gold. This is way better than doing it over a wheelbarrow or on the ground. Well, in my humble opinion, anyway. Right. What have you got going on in here? Lots of worms. Now they look very similar to the Maris Piper. Oh, I don't want you to be different shapes. I want you to be all the same shape. I can pick six. I mean, it's quite a... Talk about giving myself a bit of a 
difficult one to do first time. Yeah. Four varieties, six potatoes. Well, I've got five buckets. So, uh, so far, I reckon I can get six of each out of the ones I've done. So I reckon we'll be good. I know it's only the local garden show, but I've got a bit of a competitive uh, <laughs> streak to me. Right, that's um, crack on with the rest. Beauties. Right, so that's the Marifoma. The most small ones of any of them. And the first ones I've had with, well, I'm guessing, that scabby bit. It's probably scab. So, might struggle to get me six out of this lot. We'll see. Clock's ticking. Let's crack on. Right, so this is the last variety, Kestrel. And it was the one with the least amount of uh, top growth. So, ooh, I think this is like a multicolored potato. <laughs> oh, God. The ignorance of the first timer. Right, off you got in here then. Oh yeah, pink and white ones. There's a little seed one. Chuck them in a bucket. A few dinky ones. How cool are that? Pink and white potatoes. See, <coughs> this is the trouble with ignorance, isn't it? If I knew what they looked like, I could have uh, probably entered the other potato classes. But I didn't, so there we are. I like these. They're looking lovely and clean. Well, no scabby bits anyway. Not quite so big, but a nice shape. And they're quite uniform. So I reckon we'll be all right for our six on this. A few little ones. Nice shape for peeling. No weird lumps and bumps. Chuck that in the bucket. I mean, not a massive amount. They were all put in the same compost, same 30 litre buckets. Um, yeah, right. Let's get the rest of these done. Let me pick some out. Right, well, there's the kestrel all laid out. By far the most uniform of all the ones I've grown. So that should make picking them out a bit easier. Um, that's when we little tiddlers. I'll be cooking them up using gang gang and peanuts recipe tonight and a cold beer. Beauty. And right, let's step back a bit. That's the full harvest out of 30, no, 20 30 litre containers. All right. Now all I've got to do, sort them out, pick out six of each, and then try and wash them and get them clean without breaking the skins. Then all the rest will go to a top secret dark location to be stored to be used over winter. Right, there we go. All right, well, that's me potatoes picked out the best I can. That was a traumatic time in my life. I had a bucket of water that I swapped for each lot because I was worried about the grit pulling off the, the skins. And I, I've got no idea how 
how much I mean, I got a sponge in there how much to to scrub them I just don't know anyway that's me uh, 24 potatoes for the show a few spares a few scabby ones I'm gonna wrap them up now in some um, kitchen towel stick them in a box and uh, yeah I don't know whether to wash them again later or just leave it go well I just don't know I'll worry about that later so that's them wish me luck